Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get it to focus on me and um, I'm sitting next to a window, um, so difficult. But I set up my altar for February and I wanna share some of the stuff on my altar because it is for the theme of um, past, present, and future and celebrating myself I guess, and the people in my life, and the people who have been in my life, and I guess just just figuring stuff out. Ow! There's a beam of sun. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's really pink and cute, and I want to share some of the items on my altar, because I am at a very specific period of time in my life where um, first of all, I'm one week on testosterone. I started at HRT last week, so I'm really excited about that. And, um, yeah, I've got more life stuff coming up, uh, this year that I'll be able to talk about later. And, um, yeah, things are changing. Obviously, I haven't been uploading very much, but... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna show you some cool rocks, so I hope that makes up for it. So it's really convenient that there's some sun so you can actually see what's going on. Also, for the record, I have no idea where the microphone is on this camera yet, so I hope I'm talking good, <laughs> I guess. Um, let's see. Uh, so this is a key um, from my bedroom when I lived in Wisconsin. Yes, I had to lock my bedroom door. And I have a little key from it, so... It just makes me happy. I made this, um... in art class in ninth grade before I moved to Tennessee. I designed it and carved the mold thing and cast it in... I think this is pewter? I don't know. But it's a phoenix. <laughs> this is um, a guitar pick that my brother gave me. He plays the guitar. He's really good at it. And he gave me one of his picks. So I like to put that on my altar. I got this in um, 12th grade on a trip to Sapelo Island, Georgia with my mom. I got this dolphin um, when I was little from a cave in Minnesota. My grandma and grandfather bought it for me in the gift shop. Ah! <laughs> this seagull. Excuse me. Will you focus on my sneak? Ah, uh, yes. This is Japan. He has a brother named Jared. Um, they're identical seagull figurines that Kiana and I found at the thrift store a few weeks ago, several weeks ago. But, um, seagulls are the animals of our souls, so we have friendship seagulls. This is half of a rock from my bestie, Sherms. Um, she has the other half, and I like to put that on my altar. This is um, a rock from my childhood rock collection. It um, is shaped like a snail. I always used to pretend it was a snail and I would play with it. I just bought this salt, so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Some little salt and I also got selenite when I went to the shop. Excuse me, will you focus on my selenite? Look at how cute it is. This crystal ball is actually a marble that I got when I was really little, like, probably before preschool. Um, and I, it sat in a little candle holder that Sherman gave me. <laughs> this bottle is, um, it has petals and powder from flowers that my family got me for my graduation from high school. I got this little jar 
in Central America senior after senior year when I had graduated. This little stack of rocks, my best friend in elementary and middle school and um, she got me these cool rocks and I love stacking them up. I used to have them on my nightstand all the time. This little this little container is my pinch pot from kindergarten. It's the first thing I ever made out of clay and I it also used to sit on my nightstand for most of my life. You can see my tiny little like itty bitty fingerprints in it. Like right there. Yeah. This is from an adventure that I went on with Kiana and I just kind of wrote down some of the things that happened and that was two years ago this month. I can't believe that was two years ago. What the heck? <laughs> we went to Seebeck. I think there's like a vlog or something of it. Um, I'll put it in the cards if I can find it. This is a spoon. It's a collectible like you get this in a gift shop. It's in, of Minnesota, which is where I was born, but I bought it for Ganesha um, on a camping trip with a couple of my friends and their families for the Ganesha festival. The camping trip wasn't for the festival, it just happened to be at the same time. So I got this and my friend's mom helped me like get some milk for Ganesha. This is rose powder. I think when I was in middle school I found like some roses in the yard that had fallen off of something, possibly my parents wedding rose bush. And I ground it up in my mortar and pestle and put it inside this little tube that I found at church. <laughs> this wand with copper wire um, is made out of a stick that I found in my backyard as a kid from this pine tree that was really, really tall <laughs> and it used to scare me whenever the wind was blowing really hard at night because I was afraid it might fall on my bedroom, which is scary, but I really like that tree a lot. <laughs> and this is a beautiful wand that I polished myself. This is the ring that um, my Trying to focus with one hand is difficult. Oh, and I can't put my nose on the screen, otherwise it it turns off the screen. But this is the ring that my pentacle tattoo was inspired by. Um, my best friend, Malsha, has a matching one. And I can't wear mine anymore because I'm allergic to it. <laughs> but I like to keep it on my altar. I got this from one of the therapists that I saw in... Kitsap County. It's really cute. Whoa. Little token. This is some obsidian that I found in my yard. Actually, my neighbor friend and I were playing and they were just throwing rocks and one of them broke open and it was obsidian. So she has a piece of it. I don't know if she still has it, but I really like this stone for protection. <laughs> I got this um, rose quartz wiener at the solstice festival last year or the year before with my bestie Zoe so that's cute <laughs> this is also from Sherman and I really really like it can we get some light can we get some focus it's a little bird tile, and it says live by inspiring others, and it makes me very happy. I think my sister made this little paper heart. It's so cute. <laughs> I got this on an adventure to um, Tacoma Ways Goose, and I got my mom 
a little flower stamp. These are wooden stamps. So I sent my mom the flower for Christmas last year. And I have the bee. These are some more of my childhood rocks. They're really neat. My brother found this just outside. One day he was like out looking for rocks and whatever and he just found some really cool ones. Like how do you just find this like in the backyard? But he did. He was selling rocks on the side of the road to businessmen after work and I was like, dude, where the heck did you find this? And he's like, I don't know, on the ground? Do you want it? <laughs> This little seal um, was in my grandma's craft room and I thought it was really cute and she gave it to me. This I got when I was little, I have no idea who gave it to me, but it's a little pin of my birthstone which is aquamarine and this is also some more aquamarine that I recently bought myself. I got my siblings and I, like, well, I got my sister. I don't think I got rocks for my brother, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> um, of our birthstones. This rock I got in second grade. Its name is Rocky Rococo, and it was for, like, a science class experiment. So, I got to keep it. It's my pet rock. Some little pink shells that I found on the beach. Ooh. Is this selenite? Is this polished selenite? I don't know, maybe. I'm not good at remembering what all my stones are yet. This one's so cool though. Ah. I made this. Um, it's empty on my altar here symbolizing, you know, what could happen in the future. I don't know, but I've got a little container to catch some of it. <laughs> um, I made that when I was in between second and third grade. This is a spell that Kiana and I did at the beginning of last year for 2019, and it's full of rust and ocean water, and I really like it a lot. <laughs> How did you get over there? I got this um, from a local store on Bainbridge Island. Oh my goodness. Um, after getting vegan food at um, Emmy's Veg House with Desu and he really, really enjoyed the vegan food and I was so excited. <laughs> Some amethyst. Come on. Go look at that. Oh, how cute. And I've got a little Venus. Hey. Excuse me. This is just me learning how to use a camera video. My um ocean penis. These altar cloths are just some fabric that I've kind of always had. I don't remember where I got them, but I used to play with them. Like, I'd wrap them around to make a skirt or a dress or a cloak or a cape or whatever I would use it for, wrap different things in it. There's a fuzz. <laughs> but they're just really cute and pink, and they remind me of the colors of my bedroom in Janesville where most of the room was like this color and then I had the wall with um, the window was more like this color. And this altar cloth is actually an old handkerchief from my aunt. And I just think it's so cute with all these little flowers.
yeah that's my altar for February 2020 it makes me very happy and I that's my main purpose of an altar is just to sit down here and feel happy <laughs> all my plants are up above it ah. well some of them are above some are next to it and I've got some hanging over there then I've got some down there on the floor that need new homes and some on the table that need new homes I think you can kind of see one right there <laughs> um yeah but a lot of changes are coming this year and I really want to bring you along for that what's happening to my plant I'm so sorry to all my plants I've been neglecting a lot in the last mm, six months but I'm feeling a lot better and I'm doing a lot better. Yeah. <laughs>